Hmm. Scrolling through uh, some old messages from some of my TikToks when I first started here, and I come across this request. Well, okay, Anna Marie, let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. And no offense to Hormel, I did grow up on this stuff until I learned how to make it the right way. And how do they get those potatoes so small? Okay, let's get rid of this. Grab your Instant Pot, let's make corned beef hash. Yeah, let's do it, I'm pumped. Okay, you want a corned beef brisket. You'll find this in your meat department. Inside, it's got a little packet of seasoning. We're gonna use that. Now, you'll see point cut or square cut. It doesn't matter what the cut, because we're gonna cut this into pieces anyway. You're making corned beef hash, remember? All right, you want three good-sized potatoes. We've got minced garlic. We've got beef stock. We're gonna use four cups of beef stock and a can of your favorite beer. Let's put this in the Instant Pot. First thing we're doing though, because we're getting ready to handle food, wash your damn hands. All right, let's do it. All right, we've got our brisket in the Instant Pot. Let's add the beef stock, a can of beer, Ooh, garlic, that seasoning packet that came with the corned beef. Sprinkle that all in there. About a teaspoon of salt. Put the lid on the Instant Pot. Listen for that music. Turn your Instant Pot on to pressure cook for 90 minutes. Our brisket is done cooking. We're gonna let the steam naturally release for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's peel some potatoes. The brisket is done. It should be very tender. So we've added our potatoes to that broth. So we're gonna cook those potatoes for just five minutes. While the potatoes are cooking, we chopped up our brisket. Potatoes are done. Let's release that steam. Let's chop up our potatoes. No little potatoes here. Oh boy, do they soak up that flavor. Get it all mixed up. Oh, 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 I just want to eat it right now. But there's one more step. Heat up your skillet, get it nice and hot, add some olive oil, fry it up. Your corned beef hash should look like this, crispy with brown potatoes. So let's give this a little bite. I can't wait. I like to put this in a breakfast burrito too with some scrambled eggs and cheese. Oh. Mmm. Good and be good. Enjoy your breakfast.